that's what I wanted to show you and it's nice and fresh now I know this might seem really disgusting and I promise I'm not totally obsessed with poo but there are really interesting things to look at out here because it tells you so much about the animal that you might get to see out here so let's take this as an example first of all this is a big animal clearly because this is a very very big poo but if we look a little bit closer and I will wash my hands after this I promise look a little bit closer at what this animal eats grass lots and lots of grass in here and then if we look closely let's see if we can find something else um, here are all the leaves that's something that eats grass and trees and then we know that it's an elephant but this also tells us something else about the way that the elephant digests its food because Look how much of this is undigested. It's rough. There's lots and lots of grass still in here. Lots of trees, lots of grass. So an elephant's digestive system works really quickly, but at the same time is very wasteful. That's why elephants need to eat all the time. And they do. They eat all the time. An adult elephant could eat 300 kilograms of food and poop out about 100 to 150 kilograms every single day. Now let's compare it to something else that I just happen to have in my pocket. Let's pop that down. Ew! So gross! It's a little bit gross. That's okay, I'll wash my hands afterwards and no harm done. So if I dig in my pocket and I find some impala poo that I just happen to have, as you do. Okay, so obviously much smaller, but that makes sense. Impala are tiny. But let's break it open. Can I do it with my fingers? Nope. Okay. Why don't you look at the pretty sun while I break this open? <laughs> and class 2C in the Junction Public School, welcome to our bushwalk segment. Have a look at this. Okay, so obviously I've just broken it open with my teeth, and they want to know what impala poo tastes like. Well, I usually don't chew it. Um, so basically it just tastes like the dirt that is around it because all I'm doing is putting it on my tongue and then spitting it out but there where I bit into it it kind of just tastes like dirt to be honest but what I wanted to show you is with it like this as fine as it is you can tell that an impala has a completely different digestive system to an elephant and that we know because they're ruminants which means that they chew their food swallow it then bring it back up chew it again and then they swallow it and then they digest it properly. So that's why an impala for its weight, kilogram for kilogram, needs to eat less than an elephant. So there you go. Nice and fine. And my hands are very dirty, I know. I'm sorry. It's okay. My hands are dirty and then I go and wash them and then they get dirty again. So let us leave our impala poo and our elephant poo because this is actually a really important source of nutrients for something to come along. And give it some thought. What do you think might live in, and you guys live in Australia, so you may well know the answer to this straight away, but what animal would be very, very keen to use some elephant dung as its home or as its food source? Give it some thought. I bet you know exactly what animal it is. Okay, I'm going to try and get rid of as much elephant poo as I can off my hands.